Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Triumphant Thursday. We thank God for the powerful ways in which his spirit triumphs in all of our lives. I hope and pray that you're feeling the victory that comes in Christ and Christ alone. Today in the book of Acts, the 17th chapter, verses 10 through 15, we hear these powerful words about these two partners in ministry, Paul and Silas. You remember Paul and Silas. They were the ones who have once been in a Roman jail. They prayed and God opened up the doors. Now we see Paul and Silas. They are at Berea. It is here in Berea where the people are open minded. They are there to listen, to hear the gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ. So Paul and Silas together began teaching the truth. Oh, what a powerful example of us as believers partnering together, doing the work that God has called them to do. See, Paul and Silas became a dynamic duo. They became a team that God used to bring about good news, to bring the good news of the gospel to the Jews and to the Gentiles. And even while they were in this region, well, it is very interesting that they preached the, they preached the word of God and the people said they were stirring up trouble. The believers acted at once, sending Paul and Silas to the coast and Timothy remained. They wanted to make sure that nothing happened to them because they knew that they were the primary ambassadors for telling the truth. And they tell Timothy, we need for you to hurry up and join us, but do the work that is needed there. You know, oftentimes God sends in those people who begin to open up the doors and then he leaves the rest of us there to make sure that everybody can get what they needed. I think this is a powerful example to show all of us the importance of having persons who come in with such powers of persuasion. Those who come in who have had the face to face encounter with Jesus, those who have fully embraced the gospel and share it and teach it with with authority. It is amazing how God can use personalities. Isn't it great how God sometimes uses you and me? to be the ones of influence in people's lives, those whom they've heard about, but then they teach those who will remain there with them. It is important for us to know, Paul and Silas were two men that were used by God, and then they had someone who they were teaching, and that is Timothy. Timothy teaches the truth. He remains there with them to make sure that everybody fully understands and fully comprehends, while Paul and Silas are on to do some other work. You know, we must all realize that we're in a teamwork. When we're in teamwork, that means that all of us are there to do the work, but we all don't have to stay. We sometimes have to leave to train others. It is so encouraging how people go from city to city, place to place, to share the good news of the gospel, to make sure that everybody knows. And you know, you and I can do that as well. We do it with our mission dollars, we do it with our physical presence, we do it in more ways than one. Let's be the ambassadors that God has called us to be. Let's be the Paul and Silas of our contemporary day. Let's be the Timothy of our contemporary day, that we can share the good news of the gospel, that everybody might know how God is doing great and marvelous things. Always know you're exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and we'll look forward to sharing with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.